Hi folks, now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how the EE color processor is controlled by the on-screen displays of the TrueView Van Gogh projector. And also, I, I just wanted to mention that the EE color processor allows us to take advantage of the native gamut of the TrueView Van Gogh. So you're going to get colors outside of Rec. 709. And um, for some of you, that, that is definitely something you, you're going to appreciate. Others, you may not appreciate as much, but I just wanted to make sure that uh, that point was made before we continue to go through the on-screen display. Okay, folks, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring up the menu, and on the, the picture uh, menu item, we're going to bring up the picture menu. And as you can see, as we're scrolling down here, what we would have to set up for the EE color processor is gamma of 2.2, white point would be native, color gamut would be EE color, and setting the color space to RGB is recommended. Okay. So basically that's your initial settings. Okay. The reason we leave the white point to native is that the EE color processor will actually change the white point itself between D65 and native, so we just leave it to, to native because we don't want the projector controlling it at all. We just want to do it with the e color processor. The reason we uh, select uh, gamma of 2.2 is, as you know, most, uh, if not all content, Rec. 709 content is uh, encoded with a 2.2 gamma. Now, the color gamma is e color. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go into its submenu and you're going to be able to go through the various color tables that you can control. So as you can see we're in uh, max color RGB. The, uh, we're in max color RGB. There's actually two subsets of tables that you can control through the Van Gogh. The first one is max color RGB and the other is max brightness. And as you can see, we basically have them for the room lighting conditions. They all boost the colors, and they all give you a little warmth to the, to the skin tones. So basically, you can just march through them all, and you select one. And then the EE color processor has a light on the front of it, and that light will switch accordingly. Uh, the way these tables are set up, when you hit dark lighting, uh, the e-color processor will have the number one displayed. Dim lighting, it'll have the number two displayed. And standard lighting will have number three displayed. This color table subset called max brightness basically will give you more lumens out of the projector. And it also will compensate for the room lighting and give you a color boost. And when you select these, You'll, dark lighting will appear as a 4 on the color box display. Dim lighting will appear as a 5. And standard lighting will appear as a 6. For this demo, what we're going to do is we're going to actually go to max color RGB. And we're going to select dark lighting. And when we're done, we just back out of the menu. And uh, we are now in EE color. We control the white point via the EE color processor. And we uh, have our uh, color table set for compensation for dark room lighting. OK, folks, what we're going to do now is we're going to actually switch to a different color table. And we're going to show you what happens on the display of the EE color processor. So basically we're going to pick dim lighting and now when you look on the face of the e color processor it will show number two and that that way you know that you've actually got the e, e color processor and the TrueView Van Gogh projector connected together correctly using the RS-232 cables as you change on the OSD you'll see the change reflected on the display of the e color processor.